So again, you can start the game, click the play button. Uh, last time I think I used Sofia, so today I'm gonna use Marco as my character. Uh, open the Jungle Trouble game, or, and we will continue where we left off last time. So last time we finished uh, the iteration statements, the loops, so today we're gonna start with conditionals. So let's see what the conditionals are. So we need to add a new command sheet, and a new command, and let's see. So we should drag this one in, step forward, uh, this if then statement, and jump forward. And that seems to be it. So let's try to figure out if, it, if what this does or what this is supposed to do. So Marco needs to go from the green tile here to the yellow tile. It's all the stone path. So we can say bound stone path, step forward, uh, which is great, but it'll only get us here to this tile, right? So Marco essentially steps forward, steps forward, steps forward, then he got he gets here and he cannot step forward because there is a bush in his way. So we can say, well, if there is a bush in front of you, jump forward. And other, like if there is just a regular tile, do nothing, right? And then the next time we go through the loop, we will step forward one more time, check for a bush, no bush. So we'll go through the loop again and get to the old tile. So let's see if this works. So let's move on. This should be pretty straightforward. Uh, so, okay, now we have, instead of bushes, we have frogs here, but other than that, it's the same thing, right? So we can say, repeat while you are, or while Marco is on the stone path, what do we do? We keep stepping forward, but, If there's an obstacle, right, uh, we have to do something. So, what's the obstacle? It's a rock. So, not, not a bush, so we have to go to the drop down and instead of bush, put in rock. And yes, it's in front of, in, in front of Marco, that's good. We notice we can change this to also other cases. And okay, so if it's a rock, then what do we, what do we need to do? We need to jump. So let's see if this works. So again, this is actually, this if you just look at it, it says keep going forward, but in case there is a rock in front of you, jump. That's all, simple as that. And remember, once uh, the code, or once Marco reaches the old tile, it stops no matter what. So even if there were uh, a stone path here, not the bridge path, uh, Marco would stop on the yellow tile. So we don't have to worry about what's going to happen after hitting the yellow tile. Okay, so click the play button. Jump. Great. Okay, let's move to the next level. Uh, kind of similar as before. Okay, so it looks like they are giving us some suggestions. Okay, so let's use them. So essentially, Marco needs to be stepping forward, but when we get to this corner, we have to do something special, right? And what is the, what is that something special? Uh, we need to turn left. Okay. So let's look at it one more time. So essentially, the instruction: if you were given Marco and ins instructions how to get to the old tile, you can just say keep stepping forward. But when there is something to the left, turn left. That's all, right? And then after that, just keep stepping forward again. Okay, so what is that something? So if there is the bridge path on the left, right, then turn left. If there is nothing on your left, don't turn. Keep going straight. So Marco will keep going straight until he reaches this uh, square or this part of the bridge. Then he turns left. And then he keeps going forward again because there's nothing that he can turn to, right? Until he reaches the old tile. So let's 
let's try that. Uh, what do we do? Did we miss? Oh, so you know this is a great way. See, you just have to keep essentially trying and testing your program until you get it right. So we forgot that we are on the bridge path, and this code says repeat while on stall path. So since we are on the bridge bridge path, well, nothing will happen. So we need to change this to the bridge path, and let's run it now. And turn. Notice that this code got exercised, and we are done. So let me actually rerun it uh, one more time. Um, what I wanted to point out, notice when Marco gets to this corner, this if statement gets actually used, and the turn left command gets executed. But on other steps, this is ignored, right? So let's double check that. So see, we're stepping forward, stepping forward, now we get to the corner. And it was so quick, but there was a little turn left. Okay. So let's move on to the next lesson. So kind of similar as before. So let's see. What do we need to do? We need to keep stepping forward while we are on the stone path, right? So let's grab the repeat while loop and step forward. Great. So where will that get us? Let's play this. Step forward, step forward, step forward, but we got stuck, right? So what do we need to do? Uh, well, we need to turn right, but not always, only in special situation, right? So what's the special situation? Well, if there is a stone path on the right, then please turn right. Okay, turn right. Great. And that should be enough, right? So keep going straight when there is a where when you can turn right, turn right. Other than that, just keep going straight. And that should get us all the way to the old tile. So let's play this. Get to the corner, turn right. Perfect. So let's continue. Okay, so now it's a little more tricky. Uh, again, okay, so we get advice from the game again, so which is great. Uh, so again, we are on the stone path. We need to be stepping forward. We know that, right? And if I hit the play button, can I? Uh, Mark gets stuck right in front of the bush. So what do we need to do? Uh, well, if there is a bush in front of you, or in front of Marco, we need to jump over it, right? So let's do jump forward, and let's run this again. Jump, keep walking forward. Oh, we got stuck again. Why? Because uh, we need to jump again, but this is a different obstacle, right? This is a rock. So we need to come to the uh, conditional command sheet and drag this if then statement here. So if there is a rock in front of Marco, we need to jump again. Right? Jump forward again. So let's try this. This should work this time. Jump, get to the old tile, and that makes the end. Okay. Uh, let's move on. So here is just little, you know, different combination of uh, the conditional statements and the while repeat loops. So while on the stone path, Marco needs to essentially be going forward. So let's try that. While on the stone path, step forward. And, excuse me. When there's a push in front of Marco, he should jump over it, right? So, if there is a push, jump forward. So, let's see where that gets us. Step, jump, and now we get stuck, right? So, what do we need to do? Well, we need to turn left.
left but we can only turn left if there is some place to turn left so let's add a new conditional statement or another conditional statement so if there is a stone path to the left or on the left then let's turn left right so we turn left and then we just for the rest of the time we just step forward until we reach the yellow tile okay so let's try that uh, notice that we keep essentially stepping forward then when the condition is right we jump forward and when the next condition is right we turn left so keep an eye on Marco but also keep an eye on the code how it's being highlighted here Stepping forward, stepping forward, jump forward, stepping forward, turn left, that was quick, and then just step forward. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's do one more lesson, uh, or one more level, I should say. And Okay, uh, this is little, I mean, still about the same thing. So, so we here, we just need to keep going forward. And when we reach this corner, we need to turn right. When we reach this corner, we still need to turn right. And when we reach this corner, we need to turn left to get to the yellow tile. So pretty straightforward. So actually, sorry, I started in the wrong order, but it's okay. So I know I'm gonna be turning right and, and left. So I need two conditional statements. And I have this repeat while loop and instead of this is not a stone path, this is a tile path, so let's change that to tile. Okay, so while on the tile path, we need to be stepping forward, or Marco needs to be stepping forward. So, and when he reaches this corner, right, if there is a tile path to the right, uh, Marco needs to turn right. But other than that, just keep stepping forward. So let's see. Run it, step forward, step forward, then here, turn right, turn right here, and here he gets stuck. As we kind of expected, because as I said at the beginning, we still need to turn left, right? So let's drag the command here. And let's say if there's a tile pass to the left, then we need to turn left okay and that should bring us all the way to the yellow tile so let's see if that's correct turn again turn turn left this time and we got all the way to the end okay uh, that's it for today uh, I'll see you on the next video